Hi, I'm Casey with Keeping It YYC. Today I am joined by Morgan and Darnell of YYC Local Wipes. How are you guys today? Good, thank you. How about yourself? I'm pretty good, thanks. Um, I'll start and just get right into the questions and have you tell us a little bit about your business. Perfect. So I guess how we started out is that through the COVID crisis, we were flying through, let's say, the Lysol and the Clorox wipes. Uh, we have a couple of family members. My grandmother, for example, just finished radiation treatment. So we were trying to figure out solutions to, let's say, wipe down her groceries and be able to safely um, do that. And so we started kind of looking around, let's say, like the do-it-yourself options that you could find on, yeah, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. And we clearly were not the first ones to come up with that solution, like to try out those solutions because they were sold out everywhere, online, all the different stores. Um, and so we kind of started messing around. We started seeing that there was local distilleries here in Calgary that were switching over production to hand sanitizer. Um, and so we just, I started messing around kind of literally in my kitchen, um, just like seeing different materials and seeing if we could kind of produce something that was like a Lysol wipe that could protect us from um, COVID. Uh, so originally it actually just started out with our family. So just using it for family and friends. Um, and then unfortunately, I, at the end of April, I was working as a geologist at a major oil and gas company um, and I was laid off. And so that was on a Thursday and we actually launched YYC Local Wipes on the Sunday. So kind of our joke is, is that I gave myself kind of one day, like, yeah, be sad about it and then uh, just kind of pick up the bootstraps and get into it. Yeah, so then we ended up launching YYC Local Wipes. And so right now we've been providing clients as well as now businesses. So let's say employees returning to um, work with wipes. Um, and so at this point, it's kind of cool because they were partnering with local distilleries in Calgary um, and trying to support local as much as we can. So for example, let's say the labels that are on the bag are just from like a local print shop um, that's locally owned across the street from my condo. Um, and then a dollar from every bag is being donated to the food bank. That's awesome. So locally source everything, basically. Exactly. Yeah, as much as we can. Um, so uh, what are kind of like the denominations you do them in? Like, do you do like packs of like, you know, small or large or varying? Yeah, so right now we're doing just packages of 40. You just kind of find that's like a good standard and they come in reclosable bags and they're about 16 by 16 centimeters ish. So very similar to, let's say, your, your Lysol wipe. Um, and then we've also been um, offering for let's say a larger like bulk order for companies doing those as a 20 pack as well but so far it's just the 40 pack kind of keeping it simple for our own supply chain yeah awesome okay so well my next question you kind of spoke to this a little bit already um, because your business is an adjustment to COVID but what have you been having to do to adjust to the current environment yeah I can speak to that a little bit and so uh, Morgan initially asked me to help out um, with a lot of the back-end e-commerce systems and uh, social media, like getting her set up so that's scalable. And I'm still working full-time, so I'm an engineer by trade. And so for me, the adjustment has been um, a lot of self-care routines, you know, letting go of uh, the habits of going to the gym or, uh, you know, spending time with friends, that sort of stuff. And honestly, finding meaningful projects to work on. And so this came at a great time for me, Morgan reaching out, asking to help. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, uh, seeing if I'd take a little bit of a larger role. And so I'm kind of the midnight shift for manufacturing and then like early, early morning deliveries. So um, Morgan talks about creating her own full-time job. And uh, through her, like, I've essentially been able to pick up a part-time job. And, yeah, it definitely beats sitting at home, logging hours on Netflix. Yeah, that's awesome. So you two do the deliveries personally yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah from start to finish. Wow. It's all really done. And, yeah. Yeah. It's I, kind of funny. Uh, sorry, because Matt and I was a, a similar thing. It's, he's an engineer. Oh, and, right on. When I was laid off he, and he was working from home, he wanted to start doing something that had purpose. And that's why this started. So. Awesome. That's really cool. That is super <laughs> similar weird. story. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. So um, the third, the next question is what can people do to support their local businesses right now? Yeah. 
want to tackle it? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I would say from an overall standpoint, just trying to be a little bit more aware of where you're buying your different products from and probably making those choices accordingly. Um, so just as an example, let's say just from like a sanitizing wipes standpoint, um, looking, let's say, to provide, to purchase more of local um, local products. And the same standpoint is if you're a business, let's say, like just as an example for ourselves, instead of ordering, let's say, labels off of Shutterfly, um, supporting more of a local business. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think one of the reasons why, you know, we're chatting with you is that, you know, to pay attention to how you curate your social media. Um, I think there's a lot to be said about following the profiles and the organizations who are doing their best to highlight local companies. Um, and, you know, it's, it's from restaurants to uh, manufacturers like us. If you like the product, you have to do more than just um, follow their profile. You have to actually go and be a customer. And so if, if you're ever upset about a restaurant closing down, um, it's kind of important to ask yourself, when was the last time that we ordered from there, right? Um, and so not only, you know, following and being uh, like social media cause motivated person, but actually allowing your, uh, you know, votes, your dollars, you know, to actually vote who succeeds. So I think that's important. So yeah, following organizations like you guys uh, and, and, you know, really, really trying to support the local businesses. Yeah. Absolutely. It's interesting. A lot of the things that I've found that I can get locally that I had no idea I could get. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? So it's, and, and wipes too. Like it's something that I guess because we are so used to just go to the grocery store and get some that you don't think like, wow, this is, this is probably something that somebody's doing here locally. Let's find that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you know, to that point, I think there are a lot of um, locally made goods that we typically come across at farmers markets or like in Christmas, the Christmas markets. Um, there are uh, a lot of these um, market providers or organizers uh, shifting to online markets too. So paying attention to, you know, what's going on. Um, yeah, you don't have to look very far to find a ton of awesome quality goods made here right in Calgary. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I do love the markets bringing a lot of it together, making it very easy because a lot of people will say, well, it's easier for me to find everything in one place. And it's like, there are people shifting to that for you. They're doing exactly. the leg work. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> bringing it right to your door. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, it's so <laughs> easy nowadays. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love not leaving my house. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so then my last question is just, do you guys have any tips or tricks you can give to people in relation to your expertise right now? Yeah, so I would say kind of the biggest one is kind of being okay with kind of starting that small. So we have talked about this is that you don't necessarily, if you're kind of from the entrepreneurial standpoint, you don't have to go out and take out, let's say a big business note loan, quit your job and just hop right into it. You can kind of start that small and kind of get that growth going. Um, and then I guess in the same standpoint is trying to think about kind of those different niches of where you could particularly maybe fit in. For example, for us, we saw the need for sanitizing wipes. Let's say someone like you, let's say trying to promote the keeping it. Um, yeah. Being able to keep it local. So, yeah. And um, you know, one thing that we found um, is really just changing your expectations. You know, you come from uh, working an hour, getting paid for an hour or, you know, two weeks and you get a paycheck and as entrepreneurs you have to almost look at things as seasons you have a season of investing of growing of nurturing um, like a field of uh, like crops and then there's a season of actually harvesting and so changing up your expectations around um, like income and being willing to invest uh, that's been huge and uh, yeah I think surrounding yourself with good people um, and, and allowing yourself to be open to help, uh, cause we found that there are a lot of people who want help, not just as customers, but even just, you know, help and spread the word. And so, um, yeah, don't be afraid to just share what you're doing and allow your biggest fans to, you know, help you out in any way, shape or form. Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, I love that analogy actually the about the crops and the harvesting. That's really it's a great way to put it to like it just makes it super clear. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah. So that's all the questions I had for you guys today. We do like that you end the interview for us by just looking into your camera, giving us your names, the name of your business, and just asking everyone to keep it local and keep it YYC. Morgan Keane and Darnell Franco with YYC Local Wipes. Keep, keep it, it local, keep it YYC. YYC.